the first one was Kilimanjaro back in 2005 in terms of bigger events that I've done. Everest Base Camp, Machu Picchu, did the London Marathon. <laughs> I also uh, I drove a Ford Fiesta from London to Mongolia, which took six weeks, actually, <laughs> driving through uh, rivers up rocky mountains and through the Gobi Desert. Spent eight days in Uganda and Rwanda, so I was on my own, went to do some trekking up in the mountains and uh, saw the mountain gorillas up there, actually, which was amazing. My latest initiative is by far and away the most ambitious thing I've ever tried to do. It's essentially a, a six-week race to the North Pole. So a lot of my training is very much focused on technically learning how to survive in such harsh conditions with very little support. Only a couple of hundred people have ever managed to do it. It's minus 50 degrees out there, um, and you're out there racing for three, three and a half weeks, 400 miles, carrying 100 kilos worth of kit. Um, and there's a very real danger of polar bears. They're not as cuddly as they look. Quite early on in my career, I realized that I wanted to do stuff that really had an impact on other people. So five years ago, I set up this uh, concept called VSO Challenge Events in Accenture. VSO, Voluntary Service Overseas. It's the, it's the world leading volunteering charity. Completely set up from scratch, looking at you know, what, what big and inspiring things can we do to get Accenture people involved to come on these trips, fundraise, and to really see the difference that they can make in people's lives probably do between 10, 20 hours a week on running this specific initiative within Accenture. The great thing about being here is, you know, I can send out an email to people saying, hey, do you fancy climbing Kilimanjaro, one of the hardest mountains for sort of non-technical climbers? Within 24 hours, you can get 25 people going, yeah, that sounds fun, I'll sign up, and they'll sign up on the day. Accenture does attract people who tend to do just inspiring things, a lot of things in their own time. We have a culture here that promotes that and really rewards and congratulates people who do go that extra mile, whether that be for clients or, you know, in my case, for charities as well. The way we run our business does enable me to, to take time out. So if I plan a lot of these expeditions around when I'm working with clients, it is feasible for me to take six weeks out of the office. Some of the stuff you see me doing now around, you know, North Pole and in the future South Pole Everest, I think a lot of the focus on that is very much about doing things that people just don't think are possible. My name's Paul Gurney. I'm a senior manager in sustainability services based out of London.